Welcome to the Armchair Sports, guys. We are back again for another episode. Minus Sean, we've got Matt, Mike, and Rich here. I am GJ Mitchell uh, saying welcome again. Uh, we're going to touch base on the Patrick Mahomes contract uh, and uh, possibly the cancel police. Cha-ching! And why we live in the dumbest times in the world. Yep. And I just am sick of it. But let's, uh, let's get going on this Patrick Mahomes uh, contract. Ten years. Ten! Ten years! Ten! Ten years! Ten times! Ten! Ten! A fucking ten! So, ten years. So, I'm going to start with uh, with you, uh, Matt, because you, uh, you've been following this story pretty closely, and, uh, and like probably like Patrick Mahomes a little more than I do, because I don't care, and I think the, he kind of sold out a little bit, but... Tell us what the uh, the contract is and and uh, and how you feel about it. Because I'll be honest with you, I think he uh, I think he screwed this one up. Yeah, I mean, anytime somebody signs a deal for fifty million a year, uh, they're definitely fucking it up, right, George? Yeah. Yep, one hundred percent. So for five hundred three million dollars, record breaking ten year deal with the Kansas City Chiefs, up or I should say upwards of uh, five hundred three. I believe it is four seventy seven guaranteed. Somebody call me up on that. Call me out on that, right? Yes, four seventy seven is correct. Four seventy seven guaranteed. So, somebody help me out. So it's four fifty with approximately four fifty upwards of five hundred three. Like he needs that extra bonus money, right? Right. And so it's forty five million per this year. This is all I'm gonna get. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh wait, there's more. That's exactly <laughs> what the owner of the Chiefs yeah. is saying. You think the Chiefs owner said, "I mean." <laughs> yeah, it's like, but wait, Patrick, there's more. $45 million a year, uh, plus the $25 million he can get by winning MVP every single year. This contract's insane. So he got the deal of a lifetime. Uh, his dad also pitched in the major leagues. I don't know if you guys knew that. And throughout his entire career, just made over just over $2 million. And this was, I think, 10, 12 years ago. I'm not oh, even kidding. Suck. Well, yeah, but still, I mean, he's, he's, he sucks now, but so he has, so yeah, 25 his million, yeah, his son, yeah, his son just made his dad richer, plus the 25 million, if he can get by winning the MVP every single year, getting to the Super Bowl every, every single year, which by the way, probably won't going to happen every single year. Uh, but it's the biggest contract ever. So I'm always for when guys get paid good for you, Patrick. Now, what is this going to mean for the chiefs? And what does this mean moving forward for other quarterbacks? Think of another quarterback, uh, that is coming down at the end of their contract, their entry level contract. And what does this open up for quarterbacks? So I, I, I like it. Uh, First off, I like it because I'm not a chiefs fan. I'm not, I'm not, you know, spending $45 million a year on one guy. Granted, he's right now the best quarterback in the league. However, with his contract, did you see that you could have an entire offense and defense under just his contract? And good notable guys that I read the other day. I'll bring it up if I can find it. But, A, I like it. Good for him. Good for the kid. Uh, the Chiefs are going to be good for at least the next five years with the, what they have right now. Uh, and, hey – Who's to say they, this kid may just fold under pressure? That's a lot of money on your back. That's a lot of weight to carry. A lot of incentive to try to stand up to, too. A lot of things yeah. to try to now live it, up to and, you know. Yeah, so I, I like it, but a lot of – like it. Good for you. Uh, Isn't it uh, 140 – Said 140 yes. million is the insurance. 140, 144 million is yeah. the insurance policy guarantee. Uh, 104 uh, – The injury policy. policy guarantee is 140 million. Yeah, 149. Um, which is even – it, which is also the biggest. Uh, so, so Rich, your thoughts on this whole thing? Wow. Um, I did a little digging today, reading up on how these kinds of contracts fare. And in the NFL, five contracts of 10 years or more were signed previous to this one, and all five players were gone before that contract ended. Substantially so. So I agree with Matt, you know, good for him getting the money, you know, whatever. It's ridiculous. And I'm a big opponent to rising salaries in sports. But 
like you said, good for him. Probably bad for the Chiefs. And for the type of quarterback he is, maybe he'll get back to one more Super Bowl. Maybe he'll win another MVP. But he already had a big knee injury. He runs a lot. He's going to get hit a lot. And he's just going to get older. There's no way he finishes this 10-year contract in, in any kind of, like, star shape. Just I don't think so. Look at all the running quarterbacks, that, except for Russell Wilson. Uh, Robert uh, RG3, gone. Uh, damn, who's the guy recently? There's a recent guy. Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Well, yeah, so he got banged up, and he was still kind of young, but that forced an early decline. Michael Vick. Michael Vick. I didn't want to mention him because it's not like he got hurt. Joe <laughs> Theismann. Yeah, he, he was asked to leave society for a few years. <laughs> but just yeah. in Joe's general, his style of play, it's not conducive to a long contract, and I, I can't believe a team would ignore that fact of life and lay this kind of money out, especially in the climate we're in. You right. know, he's not going to have the same wheels in three years. Yeah, no way, dude. This is going to be a jo- – we're going to be laughing about this in like six years. This is Mike Trout he money. Might get another Super Bowl. He might win another M- MVP award, but – That's the thing. Is it Patriots? worth it for one Super Bowl? This guy could have got three hundred million for ten de- for ten years, yeah. And he could have probably made and won one Super Bowl. It was just like the do we get rid of Brady when Garoppolo thing was happening? And it's like uh, if you win one Super Bowl it, by keeping Brady, it's worth it. Worth Trust it. me. And yeah. we won two. <clears throat> Absolutely well, worth it. Three with Garoppolo, but so two right. t- technically, but. Right. So I, I was like, absolutely, it was worth it. If it meant for the Pats to suck for the next five, ten years, <clears throat> I don't care. Worth it. I mean, how can they possibly fit this contract under the salary cap and, and have any kind of decent players around him? And they have no fans. Yeah. <laughs> There's not going to be any fans. <laughs> no, Casey's pretty, no pretty jacked. Casey's got a pretty big fan base, see? No, it's but big. I mean, right now with COVID. Oh right, yeah, yeah, with that, yeah. Too. right, yeah. That's what I meant. No, yeah. they, they have an unbelievable fan base. You know yeah. what do they call it? Like it's like the loudest stadium. Yeah, they, yeah, NFL. it's a lot. Of, yeah, it's one of the loudest. Them and uh, what's it? Them in Seattle fight yeah, it out 12th, every man. year. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, Kansas yeah. City's definitely come out of nowhere for a good fan base. Yeah, they right. they've been kind of quiet for us. It's like the Joe Montana era. That was on his way out, but they kind of faded off for a long time. And what Elvis Gerback never did anything for you. <laughs> Well, he was very enticing, but I went. I went with the other guy that didn't play at all. What was the water boy's well, name? Uh, right, Bobby Boucher. Exactly, Bobby Boucher. <laughs> um, so, I'll tell you with the with the Mahomes contract. I think he did himself a disservice by by signing a ten year deal, like. Most of these deals get, you know, junked anyway after like a handful. Like if you do a five-year deal, it's usually a three-year deal. Then you're bitching about your contract and you're like, ah, screw this, right? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it's now you're like looking at it going, well, I could have signed a five-year deal for $300 million or $250 million or something. Made, you know, $45, $50 million a year. Had a ton of it guaranteed had my prime and then still be able to cash in again for another 250, maybe even another $300 million contract. So with Mm. that said, you could have had more money in the bank. Now, granted, when you're talking that much money, is it really, does it really matter? The problem is, and and like you guys are saying, maybe, and yeah, yeah, maybe, and maybe that's right. I didn't take Patrick for this type of guy. I still don't think he is. I think they no, literally I, I think, laid this oh, out. Oh yeah, for him. I I think this was the perfect contract for them and him. And However, he was probably his, like holy shit. Yeah, right. Exactly. And, and, and Dak Prescott wants yeah. the same thing. Yeah, Dak Prescott does not deserve to get that no. much money. I'm sorry. Yeah, more but, like Dick Prescott. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, <laughs> right. But right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> if he's listening, good quarterback. Sorry, Dak. <laughs> no, he, yeah, keep he keep playing for the Cowboys. Makes me happy and happy every time they fail. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and newsflash, he is he's listening right now. He's got nothing to do. Great, he's got it live on a recording. <laughs> I love it. It's not even Memorex yet. This They're is- talking about me. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry. That's all right. That's all right. Um, <laughs> I'd be more afraid of Jimmy Jones than I mean Jerry Jones than anybody. But um, but nonetheless, uh, that aside, I will say that 
I think the other thing that it does is if he gets hurt, I mean, he, he almost didn't even come back last year, right? So what if he gets hurt year one, year two? And I granted ACL injuries are not as you know big of a deal or career ending as it used to be even five, ten years ago. But well, definitely still, knocks you out. Uh, yeah, but still, I mean, season. yeah, I mean that's the thing is now you're looking at it, you're going, wait a minute, and they just what, wasted forty five million dollars. Exactly, exactly, and that's the whole point. It's like, what are we really doing? You know, I mean, like, what's going on here? You know, and mm. you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why. You know, well, I think that I mean, Matty, I think you said it good. That that changes the whole, the opens whole up a lot of doors. Yeah, for a lot of quarterbacks, and hey, it gives incentive to quarterbacks to step up their game, which is great because hey, you get a team, you start winning. You're a rel- a relatively new guy that's kind of changing the face of a franchise. They throw this money at you, but now you got to think about offensive linemen tight ends, his weapons, the guys, they got to bring guys on to say, okay, this is our invest. This is our franchise. This is our investment here. We need guys that are, that are going to protect this guy at all costs. If they don't do it and then you get worse getting hurt. So it's kind of a, it kind of snowballs down to, you know, down the line of who's going to help Mahomes and go forward. And you're right. If he does get hurt or God forbid, I mean, Chad, Henny knock comes on, in. <laughs> yeah, right. you know, knock on, knock on wood. I don't see the, the kid get hurt, but, if he gets hurt, like uh, Joe Theismann, again, uh, is he done? Does Kansas City say, shit, we just wasted this much money. I mean, we're going to pay him because he's contracted. Yeah, but, he's, but the I problem mean, is that it, that hits their cap, and that's the problem is now exactly, yeah, that yeah. handcuffs Kansas City so much by right. giving this mm-hmm. kid so much money for 10 years. You know what I mean? And, and I know, okay, granted, you could say, oh, you gave him so much money for five years. Yeah, but after five years, it comes off the books. It's not like a Bobby Bonilla like contract in the NFL that's going to be an albatross for a team for four or five years that they're going to have to possibly pay this kid right. when he's not even playing for the team because maybe either he was cut or traded or he just got hurt and broke down. I mean, I think, and, I think again, a lot of I think a lot of owners now, especially with this huge deal. I mean, you saw the Mike Trout deal, the Alex Rodriguez deal years ago. A lot of owners play craps and they hit their fucking number, and they go, "Okay, 33s come up every time. I want to put 10 million on 33 every single time." All of a sudden, doesn't come up again. Yeah. And they, you look at five years, four years, going, "What the hell do we do? This this number's not doing anything for me. They're not. It's not working for me. Yeah. How do we change it?" And you're locked in unless you start making trades and then you start wheeling down other teams thinking, okay, this team wants to buy this guy out and we have to carry the lucrative overhead to bring it to this team. You know, so it's, I, I, I like Matt said, I agree. I like the deal. I, I good for him. Good on him. I hope he does step up. He's a young player. He's excited yeah. to watch, but I, I hope, I think 10 year for a deal like this, for this guy at on that team and that position and that position, I think it's, I would have gone at least a five-year deal and said, okay, after five years. Even make it seven, where well, you know the other seven, two were either yeah, like right. option years, years or, or, go, or yeah. just paper five. space. Yeah, the, right, yeah, right, they're, 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 give, yeah, give it, yeah. Give it some like some some uh, gap yeah. and say, okay, yeah. you're one seven-year super- deal with yeah. fi- with guaranteed money that pays out for the first five. But if you're right. on you've, the team, it's fully guaranteed in year six and seven or whatever. You've proven. And at you've that proven point, us- you're like, Shh, you rip it up, and then you go from there. Yeah. You've proven us. You've proven to the entire city, the entire entire fan base that. You're, you've yeah. stepped up. We've won X amount of Super Bowls, which I don't yeah, know what happened. You got MVP. You've done everything. You, you've, you've lived up to your side of the of the paper trail here. We're going to yep. sign you, but for the 10-year, my God. There well, ain't no one that humble to say no. For a number standpoint, guys, he threw 50 touchdown passes in 2018. Yep. He threw 26 last year. Right. Same number of games. So if you look at it from a numbers, his, his completion rate is off Cut the charts. Yeah, yeah, sixty-five point nine, sixty-six. I mean, he literally, yeah, you're right. He cut that in half, but he he brought his team to the Super Bowl, right. hands down. That's Huge the comeback in the uh, the first uh, AFC Wild Card game, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, where they were playing. Uh, Tennessee was it Titans? Yeah, uh, like Tennessee. all of a sudden. No, not Tennessee. Um, uh, Houston, 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 Houston. Yeah, Houston. Yeah. That's right. And they just pretty much. Yeah, because Tennessee shit their pants. Out. But um, I'm looking from a number standpoint. Okay, he won the Super Bowl. I get it. You know, he's 24. Definitely needs a minimum of five-year deal. Probably go with a seven. Where the hell are you getting 10? And then where the hell are you getting the money? Yeah. Look at the regular right. season stats, though. 
I mean, yeah. his, he threw 5,097 yards in 2018. In 2019, and he played 14 games in, in 2019. Okay. All right. But still, he's not going to throw seven touchdown passes in those two missed games. He threw for 4,031. I mean, that's well under 1,000 yards. Now, I still don't think he's going to throw for 500 yards with those two extra, with those two additional games. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he was hurt. Somebody call me out on that one. But even if he throws for 600 yards. He's still not even coming close to that. Yeah. And he's coming way short of his touchdown total. So, I'm looking at it. I still think it's a good deal for Kansas City. They're going to have a quarterback, let's say, for the at least the next five years. A good, solid quarterback. Who's to say what's going to happen? And we could be sitting here and be like, wow, they – have won three Super Bowls since this deal. Okay. Yeah, they got it. They got it right. Yeah, they got it right. And, and you get you get a guy like Mahomes, and I'm not gonna. This is gonna set George off. This on a conversation piece. You get a guy like Cam Newton, who had this entire history behind him, looking at Mahomes, going, "Man, I gotta. I, I can do a lot more than what I've done the past few years. If that dude's getting that much money in his 10 year span, he's gonna be older than I am right now in 10 years." I mean, that this gives quarterbacks like Cam Newton incentive to really step their games up and say, this is all Cam Newton needs to hear. This is money that can be had. This is teams that are willing to make bank. If I can step up, Belichick or not, who knows? This is incentive for other quarterbacks. Who's that? Cam Newton, 29. 31. 31. 31. 31. Yeah, no, his money earning time is over. No one's going to give him a, a big contract at 32. Uh, somebody I would give him like a five. Well, yeah. Actually, I take if that he back. Has a Ryan Tannehill year. got a big contract. Yeah, exactly. But Some as a, as opposed to what he just got right now with the million and a half. Yeah. Not to talk on the Cam Newton topic anymore, but just comparing what Cam Newton right. the figure was X amount of years ago as opposed yeah. to now. This gives him going. Jesus, where where have I gone? What have I done? This gives Brady incentive. What if, what can I do more? What can I get this team better? Mahomes is sitting top of the top of the chain going. Motherfuckers, I'm I'm the hawk on the uh, the bird feed right now, man. You guys are squirrels getting my yeah, remnants. Nice. Just just wait till this just wait till this NFL season happens if it does. I know we Tampa could all Bay, be wrong. This could this Tampa could change Bay everything. Tampa is gonna run rough shot all over it. And even if Kansas City is the final, you know, that can be only one. It's not gonna make a difference. It'd be, be like what, one. dude. It watching this Tampa team this year. You know, again, barring any injuries, if everybody stays healthy and everything's on an even playing field across the board, this Tampa Bay team is going to be like watching the 2018 Red Sox, just a freaking juggernaut, just an absolute wagon from start to finish, best team, most wins. This Tampa team is going to cry. It's going to be like watching the 2007 uh, Patriots in the regular season, just right. I mean, just like dropping bombs, forty-nine to six, and you're gonna be like, "What in the hell are we watching?" Hey, are any of you guys close to George? I think he's losing his mind. Someone's gonna go over and check on. <laughs> Dude, I was just about to hammer Kansas City fans because now they're probably in a spot where they're like, "Ooh, Mahomes is gonna be better than Brady after one fucking year." No, you're over there going, "Ooh, Tampa Bay is gonna be so awesome, dude." Tampa Bay is gonna crush it. Mahomes has a lot on his back. Dude, Matt, well, you said it. Dude, he's a lot on his back like, right we're, now. We're forgetting one player who this should open the doors to. Deshaun Watson, Three, two, Deshaun Lamar Watson. Jackson, oh, Lamar Jackson. Well, yeah, true. His average true. salary right now, he's still an entry level contractor. He just finished. I think he's got one more year, according to the. I'll, I I like the spottrack.com. He's got one more year for entry level. He made last year, he made uh, like 9.5. That was including bonuses and everything. Yeah. His base salary is 1.7 million. And his bonus was 1.2. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, this kid could get six hundred million. You yeah, I mean? no, All that's true. Do is win a Super Bowl. So dumb to do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you said you said the lot in Lamar. I think I say Lavar Burton. Yeah. No, I, I was gonna say Lavar Burton, <laughs> but we didn't. No, know I I think Deshaun Jack. I think uh, uh, um, not Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Watson is a uh, is a key one too that could get. Yeah. Um, that if you he could, gets that high, I'll throw up because that no. <laughs> I don't listen. I don't just MVP I think, Super Bowl. 50 touchdown passes his rookie season. Oh, yeah. No, listen. I'm, last year. Okay. I, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, I don't think uh, 
I mean, as long as they remain in the AFC, I hope it does blow up in his face, to be honest with you, because yeah. that'll be better for the Pats. But at the same time, you know, Lamar Jackson is just on his hands and knees, thanking God, and then he's calling up Patrick Mahomes, and he's like, I don't know what you did, but <laughs> I need your agent. Yeah, yeah but the, you know, the, the first – Patrick first, like, I didn't really do anything. Was shit, <laughs> they just tossed her out in front of me. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is that good. His no, girlfriend. You, he you, wanted that contract. You yeah. know, you know, Lamar's his girlfriend's going, impression. The first, the first <laughs> Patrick, bottle. Patrick, he's wearing a Super Bowl. He has a match. I think I lost you guys. Oh no. <laughs> Tampa Bay. Yeah, he's, he he's go- oh, he's back. Hey, <laughs> oh, he's back. Yeah, welcome back. Hey, Joe, hey. Oh, we kept this shit Lewis going, brother. Lewis is here. Lewis. You go get Hi, the big Lewis. This is the seventh game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we kept this ship steering. You know, you were like the captain of the Titanic. I'm taking that for a second. You guys watch out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah right. it'll be all right. Spoiler alert, everybody <laughs> dies. <laughs> I don't want to check on the band for a second. <laughs> we can't hear him, though. He, we, he's yeah, he, no, now he's on mute. <laughs> now I know how deaf people are. Yeah! There he's it back. is. Hey, he's back with everything. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back, <laughs> Dick. the Armchair Sports guys. I want to thank you all for <laughs> <laughs> And George, long time, uh, first time. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> Love to hear it. <laughs> Love to hear it. Walk me through it. <laughs> But for my final closing, yes. just on this topic, guys, Please. Uh, again, I like it. I think good for the kid. Do I think he's being overpaid? Yes, that is a lot of, lot of weight on a 24-year-old. But you know what? Lamar Jackson, now it's his turn. Now he's going to get his bread. Maybe uh, Deshaun Watson, too. I don't think to that caliber or that, that high. But those two quarterbacks, Mahomes and Jackson, are the face of the front runners to lead the NFL. But those are my takes. and. I'll uh, listen in later for the yeah. baseball talk. Uh, Rich, any final t- uh, thoughts on the uh, Patrick Mahomes? Um, no, not really. Okay. <laughs> I, don't hate, I, don't, I don't hate Patrick Mahomes. I think he's Bobby, riveting. Anything bad? So riveting. Mm, no. They don't call him the best <laughs> color man attitude. in the business for nothing. <laughs> hey, you can't say goddamn on the air. <laughs> Sorry, nobody's listening anyway. Um. <laughs> But I hate Kansas City. I mean, good for him. He got the money, but this isn't going to help Kansas City. Don't let's let's not forget that um, you know an unlicensed rodent uh, <laughs> running free. That ain't legal either. Um, Are you a fucking park and- ranger now, <laughs> Mike? Your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> how can I how can I talk this? Okay, Mike, that was that was gold. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was waiting by his reaction. I'm like, like wrote it in the station. I'm like, is he, is he gonna say the quote or is he just like teetering on the line? <laughs> Sees it. He knows how to either. take the reservation. Just hold it. George, mark that time stamp down if you can. Because... Uh, no, I need my fucking Johnson. What do you need that for, dude? I gotta cut Nobody's off your Johnson. Just, excuse me. That's why the Archie's oh, nice Park is it's your home. Mike's like waiting so patiently. I, I don't even know what to say. Uh, we just had a derailment. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> Rain was coming. I'm going to hang up and listen now, guys. Thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Uh, oh, if you need your further transcription of this. Please email clear, us at the Armchair Sports Guys. Oh, yeah, at yeah, <laughs> Uh, for your writing complaints <laughs> uh, follow us on Facebook at the Armchair Sports Guys Instagram at the Armchair Sports Guys Twitter at Armchair underscore guys <laughs> oh, we're starting to come together Pepper we're starting to come together <laughs> uh, uh, big, we got a lot <laughs> <laughs> We're driving. Big announcement coming next show about a future show. You're going to want to stay tuned. <laughs> on behalf Sticker. of. I mean, I can't do this. This is like a. Eroding. I, we've, gone to a Eroding. We, we've gone to a strip club with people with no limbs. <laughs> we're, we're here. 
We're gonna oh. see a show. We're gonna we're gonna see a show, but ain't that fucking good? <laughs> a lot of rolling around and judging ourselves. <laughs> yeah, uh. it's gonna open up some eyes, big fucking eyes. But a nice fucking That's what I paid for. <laughs> on behalf of Rich, oh Mike and Matt, I'm GJ signing off saying peace, be good to each other. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. We're sorry, America. We love you. Love you, boys. I'll text me if you need me.